Piers Morgan has put his finger on something which I really, I, I, I must say, I don't normally congratulate Piers Morgan, but uh, he's articulated a, a, a an issue of the Prince Harry um, debacle that needs attention. He says the um, the question of about Harry's Prince Harry's security uh, should not be central. It, it, it's not a question about whether Prince Harry should have or should not have security. It's whether or not we, the British public, should be paying for it. Now, I think um, I think that's probably, in some cases, uh, in, 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 to, to some degree, completely true. Completely true. Uh, but I would go a little bit further, and I would say, should Prince Harry have security? Absolutely. Uh, and the the judgment which uh, which the Home Office has made is that because the Home Office doesn't want to pay for it, Prince Harry should not have security. That is the wrong judgment. But should he have security? Absolutely, he's a member of the royal family, and he's a he's a he's a close member of the royal family, a son of the king, and. Uh, so the next question is how he gets security, not whether he should have security, how he gets security. And that, and, and that question would change the tone of the argument and the way the argument progressed. And I think we should be grateful to Piers Morgan for, for even, even offering that, um, that insight. Uh, I think it's a good one and I think, it's a, I, I think it offers a way forward for this debate. Um, and uh, uh, because because paying for, for for the public to be paying for his security is tantamount to approving of um, some of his behaviour, which maybe we don't approve of. Uh, I think I, I I think whatever is said about Prince Harry. It has to start with the understanding that his security is essential and his security is something we should take responsibility for when he's in this country. The next question is who pays for it and whether or not uh, he is deserving for the British taxpayer to be paying for it. That's a bigger question. And, uh, and, and so possibly the question is what would he have to do in order to earn that right again and 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 that may be a that may be a future conversation i i don't imagine it will be uh but maybe a new labor government will look again at the issues and reconsider them because i think it's not in it's not in the um government's interest for prince harry to be put in danger and it's certainly not in the interests of his family for him to be put in danger or in his interests that he should be put in danger. And uh, if we are prepared to give security to uh, former prime ministers who were barely in the job for a month, or indeed senior cabin, uh, ex-cabinet ministers who have disgraced themselves, and we are, and we must, then I think we must give a little bit more license to um, an errant member of the royal family, no matter what he may have written in his book. And I, and I think it's important to establish that, his th that the threats to him from, for example, the Taliban predate his writing of the book Spare.